Oh my god. That was awful. It was like oh. a wind tornado. I mean, these winds don't know which way they want to blow. It's crazy trying to transition from camping mode to driving mode in this crazy weather. But <clears throat> we are in Clarenville, Newfoundland, which is on the Trans Canada Highway. And yesterday we were in Bonavista, all the way to the end of the peninsula at the town of Bonavista, which is where that horse was and all that cool stuff by the water. But you read on the report that it was going to be 60 mile an hour winds. Yeah, and it went to 80, 60, well, to yeah. 120, whatever 120 translates to. It was 100. To 70, 100 to 120 100 kilometers. To a, so that's like 70, 60 to 72, 73. So <clears throat> we made the choice of leaving the peninsula, trying to get to the interior a little bit, which we did. We got to the Walmart, spent the night here, and all night it was gusting. It's like this, this weather just like, it's like a tornado. It's blowing both directions at the same time. And I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> So today we're gonna drive, right now in fact, we're gonna drive all the way to St. John's. I forgot to show that we hit 20,000 miles yesterday. Hit 10,000 miles back in mid-June. Right now it's August 30th? 10,000 miles in about two and a half months. That's a little too much, I think. <laughs> We're gonna slow down. Yeah. Eventually. We're gonna really slow down. Why yeah. Why you get a oh. No time soon. A lot of driving still yet to do this year. We're not gonna stop till November. Yeah. It'll be nice in November though. You know, with all this crazy wind, I'm gonna figure out this wind problem too with my microphone. Some of you guys know that I shoot on mostly on my smartphone, and there are no off-the-shelf windsock dead cat solutions for the wind noise but I'm gonna figure out a way there's so many windy places and days around here that I just can't have this wind noise in every video so I'm gonna figure something out I don't know how I'm gonna do it but um, yeah hopefully the next couple of days I have a, I have a at least a prototype solution to get rid of the wind noise. What is he doing? He likes the new board. We're gonna leave you now. Goodbye. He doesn't want to get away from the warm air. Come on, Luca. Oh boy. Have a reservation. Mm hmm Should be for three nights. We're gonna stay here for three nights. <laughs> it's gonna be until the day before your birthday. Yeah. If there was a monster trying to get us right now and we're trying to get in the hotel room so we can be saved, we will all be dead. Yeah. We haven't been in a hotel room since Mexico. Since before the truck had 10,000 miles. Yeah. The last time we were at a hotel, the hot tub was cold and the pool was hot. Yeah. That was the hotel. <laughs> All right. So, we've done it. We've done the complete Trans Canada Highway. Okay. Technically, not all of it because we're missing the stretch between. Victoria and Vancouver 
which is a ferry and like a short little drive. But that's on the opposite end of the Trans Canada Highway. And we're on the eastern end, which is in St. John's, Newfoundland. We got to St. John's last night's winds were crazy as we uh, sort of found out yesterday early afternoon from the weather report. They predicted it and it actually happened. So uh, we're glad that we kind of anticipated it. It was windy the entire drive here. Mila's birthday is this weekend. And what we decided was to get a hotel room to celebrate with a swimming pool and a water slide. And rather than waiting till the weekend and deal with the crazy weather that's here right now, we decided to just stay here this week. I've got a bunch of work to do, which being in a hotel is going to help. Uh, help me concentrate. Help me have uh, a more permanent place to be set up so I don't have to break down every day. And St. John's being a, being a city, it's not really a big city in like standards of other cities around North America. But it is the biggest city in Newfoundland. So it would be easier too to kind of explore. And we will do some exploring during the day. We'll do some exploring in the morning. And hopefully we can get up early enough and go drive around. And if the weather holds up, that's going to be perfect. Uh, and I'm hoping that the weather will hold up. But even if it is windy slightly, but not raining or not raining heavily, we're still going to go explore, I think. I hope. So between now and Friday, we'll just be in St. John's. And I think uh, we may even stay through the weekend, depending on how things go. And once we're out of here... I'm guessing beginning of next week, we'll start making our way back to the other end and start thinking about the Trans Labrador Highway. This one, I think. Oh, it's cold and drizzly out here still, but it's kind of refreshing and brisk at the same time. Falling asleep in that room, but I was ordered to come out here and uh, find some beer. You know, it's surprisingly hard to find beer here in Canada. I'm not sure if I'm going to find one just walking around either. A few moments later. The closest thing is like not walkable. It was not walkable. So I'm just gonna see what we have in the camper. I think we have like I don't know a box of wine or something. We got food in here too, but I don't want to just pop up and like make a meal. It's kind of weird. And all this food that we got in the fridge, I want to eat it or it's going to go bad. So, a little bit of a dilemma. We'll see about what we're going to do. I couldn't find the wine. Where is it? It's not on the floor. It's on the bed. No, I just grabbed other stuff. It was kind of a failed mission. <laughs> 